There's still no word on whether Indiana's state fair will still go on as planned, but several counties have already canceled their fairs. Bartholomew, Du Bois, and Monroe counties are just a few of the places that have decided to instead have virtual fairs. As Brock Turner reports, many fair organizers say they're canceling in-person events this year out of an abundance of caution. The midway will be quiet, barns will be empty, and there won't be any demolition derbies this summer at the Monroe County Fairgrounds. It was a hard decision, and Amy Thompson, who heads the Purdue University Extension Office in Monroe County, says not everyone was in agreement. But she says there was an overwhelming consensus that the rapidly changing situation made it difficult. So much uncertainty around uh, whether mass gatherings will be allowed um, and what numbers might be associated with those um, gatherings when they are allowed. Thompson says plans for youth programs are being finalized, and she hopes to have more information available to the public soon. The hope is that young people who have been working on projects for 4-H will be able to exhibit them virtually. Kelly Martin is a parent of two 4-H students who planned on participating in this year's fair. While she understands the decision is difficult, she hopes the conversation can continue. The counties, you know, either one, don't have the financial resources to do what they are requesting, or don't have the volunteer capacity to handle it. Martin worries this could have long-term effects on many county fairs. Indiana's got a great overall, great county fairs all over the state of Indiana. They are a great tradition and they are looked forward to every year. And I'm afraid that with this, this could be the death of a lot of County 4-H community fairs. That's because some counties are reliant on revenue from their current year's county fairs for next year's fair. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Brock Turner. Now, the Indiana State Fair is scheduled to be held in August. State Board officials declined to talk specifics, but in a statement said as they move forward with plans for the fair, they're monitoring the situation closely and following the guidance of the state and Indiana and public health authorities. Meanwhile, neighboring Ohio announced this week it was canceling its state fair.